LibreOffice is a free alternative to the Microsoft Office suite of applications. However, as LibreOffice is not supported in Chrome OS, in order to get it to run on our Chromebook, we will need to use Linux development environment. As we've already installed LDE onto our Chromebook, let's demonstrate how we install LibreOffice. From within Chrome OS, we first need to open the LDE menu. Now if we select Penguin, we will load a Linux terminal window. We now need to check that the instance of Linux we are using is up to date. So at the command prompt, if we type sudo apt-get update, by pressing enter on our keyboard, Linux checks for updates. When we are once again presented with a command prompt, if we type sudo apt-get dist-upgrade, after pressing enter on our keyboard, any updates that Linux has found will be installed onto our computer. We are now ready to install LibreOffice. However, so that installing software onto our instance of Linux is easy, we've already installed a software management utility called Flatpak. So in order to install LibreOffice, we just need to type the following command. sudo flatpak install flathub org.libreoffice.libreoffice When we press enter, Flatpak searches for the LibreOffice files that need to be installed and prompts us to confirm that we wish to make changes to our system installation. If we type Y for yes and then press enter on our keyboard, LibreOffice will install into our instance of Linux. We now need to wait until we're informed that the installation is complete. When we're once again presented with a command prompt, we can type exit to close our terminal window. We can also close the LDE menu and try and load one of the LibreOffice applications. If we open the launcher, and search for a folder called Linux Apps. Within the Linux Apps folder, we will find a number of icons that make up the LibreOffice suite of programs. Let's select one of the icons. How fast an application takes to load will be partly dependent on the specification of your Chromebook. It's also worth noting that while Writer appears to be running natively on our Chromebook, it is in fact running in a virtual instance of Linux installed into Chrome OS. This means that while we can see and use Writer, Chrome OS and Linux cannot see each other. So for example, if we save a document, that file will not appear in Chrome OS, but in a folder in our instance of Linux. So it is for this reason that we recommend that you look at creating a shared folder so that you can share files between Linux and Chrome OS.